Kevin Cho Electronic Project Wait, what? I'm not in my room. Okay, keep it up. Oh, okay, I'm in my room. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back with me. You know me, I'm Kevin. And today, I make my own load loading lights. <coughs> so here it is. The Arduino, now you can look it nearly. To make this, you will need some uh, LED lamps. Well, not just yellow and red. You can use the other colors like green, blue, or whatever it is. And it's front, in front of you, and it's so messy, which is the cables. The, you cannot just use normal cables. You must use the jumper cables. The difference between the normal cable and the jumper cables <coughs> is that the normal cable at the tip it just is just like an empty copper thing. And for the jumper cable <coughs> and here and there is some kind of a metal thing here. And there's also a plastic part here. As you see just now, when I plug off this cable, all of them turn on. I mean off. It's actually because this is the drone. Drone is minus. So, once I pull this off, mm, the electric circuit is now open. It. So, it won't move. And every of these things, which is actually parallel with the resistors here, if I plug it off, that is the plus. And also, if I plug this off, that's the, the ground only just for this lamp itself. And for the main thing, you will need this Arduino Uno. <coughs> well, yeah, Arduino Uno. Well, you can use any kind of Arduino Uno. But this one, I use the R3. To power it up, as you can see here, there's a cable which connects to my computer. Actually, if you already have the program in here, you can use batteries. Well, not just this batteries. Well, do you know why I use resistors here? It's actually because that this bulb cannot hold more than 5 volts. So, I resistor... I use resistors to <coughs> lower the voltage. And so here it is. The program that I made is all over here. <coughs> and the first thing is for it set up. <coughs> Every single Arduino program in the whole world always starts with for it set up which is used to set up the pins. In here, there's pin mode, 13 comma output, which is in the bracket, which is actually 13 is the pin. Well, pin mode here, this is the code syntax, and the output here <coughs> is the type of the pin. And so here is 12, 11, 10, and 9 also. And for the main program, there must be a for it loop. The for it loop is the main program that will turn on everything. Mo motors, LEDs, and other stuff also. And in here, there's a for two. And here it is, digital write. The command to turn on something. In here, there's 15 minus a comma high. A is the 4 here, which is int a equals 1. A is less than b plus 1. B is from here. And 
semicolon here and <coughs> here is a plus plus and this one that I just show you turns on the LEDs there on the breadboard just now I show you and after that there is delay 500 in the bracket 10 semicolon every single comment must be ended with semicolon well you see there's like a thing here slash slash it is actually command so it won't be readed by the Arduino and the 500 every 1000 is one second so if it is 500 0 0.5 seconds and for this one there is digital write c com c comma low in the bracket then semicolon you know it always semicolon every after a common and then in here there is uh, for also the c here is for the and so here is the c here is for the c in the digital right here that i show you and for this one i type low that means it turns off leds so as i showed you just now that was my first arduino project so that's also okay thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe Thank <laughs> you.